right, we're back in overtime. Stock soaring today as Fed Chair Jerome Powell signals smaller rate hikes are coming. Is this the green light for more gains to close out the year? Joining us now, John Spallanzani. He is portfolio manager at Miller Value Partners. It's nice to see you. It's been a while. Nice seeing you. Good to have you here at Post 9, too. Is, that's, that's the central question. Did he just clear us for takeoff? Uh, I think he cleared us for takeoff off of Bullard, right? So Bullard said 5 to 7 percent. Oh, right, to the moon rate. and beyond yeah, was exactly. Bullard. Exactly. So uh, he, he calmed things down. Obviously, it's month end. A lot of uh, rebalancing, some window dressing, coupled with the fact that, you know, obviously it's green all around all around here. The VIX down to 20. Uh, uh, 10s are 368. We have uh, oil is up two dollars. So it's almost like a Goldilocks day, right? We have the tree lining, everything. Everybody's but, happy. But we, everybody's needed, we needed this. Wh whatever your interpretation is, uh, clearly the market was somewhat comforted yeah. by the, the message that we can moderate the pace and we can uh, could come as early as December. Yeah, it's definitely going to be 50, I think, personally. Uh, and this may, might be 50, might be 25. I think it was a much more nuanced message. So he actually uh, gave the bulls and also the market some type of thing to hang their hat on going into year end where they're not just going to ra raise rates like using the Taylor rule, from, Taylor rule from 20 years ago up to 5 percent. He actually what he did was he he actually validated the move in the yield curve. Right. So if they do another 50 that that brings us to four and a quarter. The uh, the twos are about four and a quarter, but the tens are 360. So the curve is already inverted. So for them to just willy nilly say we're going to just keep on hiking forever. That's Despite been, the fact but that's that, been one of the exactly. fears in the market is that that's they're sort of tone deaf yeah, and that they're going to they're going to do what they do. Yep. Regardless. And come oh. hell or high water to what happens to the stock market. Exactly. And he changed that today. He and did. That's, I think he did. Yeah. But yes. Because he said the terminal rate may be higher, but it may be lower, which really is a huge change. Right. May, May 23. Said, right. May 23, as Leesman pointed out, you go to four point nine four. Yeah. Percent. Exactly. So maybe that's, uh, you know, as Steve put it, this is it. This is as bad as it's going to be. And once, for the economy and for rates. And once you get over four percent, I've said it for a while, things break really fast. We saw that in the U.K. Things broke fast over there. We saw it in crypto, you know, FTX blowing up. We were seeing it in housing where year over year changes in housing, especially in San Francisco and the hot markets are down 30 percent year over year. You know, obviously the uh, PCE and the inflation CPI reports matter a lot. Hopefully we'll get some more uh, some better data going forward. But again, it's the way it's the pattern. And I think the pattern now means that we're data dependent and we're just not going to hike for the sake of hiking. What, what about the idea that no matter what happens over the next four or five weeks, that reality hits home next next year? Um, earnings get hit much, much worse than people think. Right. It's like Mike Wilson. You, you've heard yeah, the perspective and I've, I've brought him up multiple times today for obvious reasons. He's been right a lot. Uh, the question is, is he too negative moving forward? Can we still engineer as the, even the Fed chair was suggesting today a plausible path for a soft ish? landing, even though he himself admits history is not exactly on his side. It's it's not easy to do. But Powell also said that he doesn't want to crush the job market. He doesn't want to crush the people at the low end just to get inflation down. So I think that's another nuanced statement where he's going to do as much as he can, but he's not going to over tighten. The fear is obviously right now it's over tightening and pushing us into a deep recession, which he said today he does not want to do. So that's not their aim in terms of earnings. Hey, 200. You know, S&P earnings times 20, that's 4,000. That's right where we are. You know, we've had these high, lower lows and mm -hmm. higher lows. So we need to get above 4,150 really to have uh, everybody go crazy. The, the question, end. though, is can you justify, we need Tom Lee. Can you justify the 20, right? It's not, yeah. you, first you got to justify the 200. And then you got to yes. justify that you can put a 20 multiple on that. But the market, you know, the NASDAQ is down 30% year to date, taking out today's nice, beautiful four, 450 basis point move. So the market was anticipating that things were to get worse before they got better, which they which they obviously did. But, you know, I think we can he can have a kick save, as the capitals like to say, right, I know right. Powell might few. have a, a, a kick save going into next year, but it's not going to be easy. All right. I, I like you giving my, my team some props. Your team uh, yeah, needs well, a little help, too. Uh, or, both little, of us are not doing too well. All right. Good to see you.